Namaste guys, Rajesh here and today we will be unboxing Lenovo's latest mid-range handset and successor to the popular K3 Note, the Lenovo Vibe K4 Note. I like the front of the box because it does not have a boring look to it and the blue and white background combination gives it a very vibrant look but it does not really contain any useful information about the handset. The full specifications of the phone are listed at the rear though. So as you can see the Vibe K4 Note comes with a MediaTek MT6753 64-bit chipset, a 5.5 inch Full HD display, 3GB of RAM, 16GB of internal storage space, a micro SD card slot that supports cards of up to 128GB, a 13 megapixel rear camera with face detection, autofocus and dual LED flash, a 5 megapixel front facing camera and a 3300mAh non-removable battery. Other notable features of the phone include dual SIM connectivity with LTE support, front facing speakers with Dolby Atmos, a unique 3 microphone audio input system, a dedicated audio chip and a fingerprint scanner. So let's get started with the actual unboxing process itself now because there's really nothing much to see in the box. So in terms of content inside the box, you're getting the phone obviously, then you get a free screen guard which is nice. And then this mini box contains all the pamphlets, quick start guides uh, and other regulatory information that you're probably never going to read. Then there's also the micro USB cable and the micro USB charger which has an output of 2 amp at 5.2 volts. You don't get a pair of earphones with the K4 Note but that should not really be surprising because most mid-range smartphones nowadays don't come with one. Interestingly, Lenovo has pre-installed a transparent back cover on the white K4 Note. Now mine is pretty scratched up. Now let me remove the cover and give you a quick look at where the various ports and buttons are located on the device. The phone comes with a metallic chassis with the micro USB port located at the bottom. There's also a microphone hold right beside it. The volume and power button are located at the right edge of the handset while the 3.5mm audio jack is located at the top. The left edge of the handset is completely devoid of any ports and buttons. The rear of the phone houses a 13 megapixel camera with face detection autofocus and is aided by a dual LED flash. There's also a touch based fingerprint scanner located right below it. The front of the Vibe K4 Note sports a 5.5 inch Full HD display with front facing stereo speakers flanking it at the top and bottom. The 5 megapixel selfie camera is located at the top though thanks to the black bezels it is barely visible. Below the display, you have the capacitive navigation keys that are not backlit. They are also in the reverse order with the back button located on the very right and the recent apps button located at the very left. Trying open the back cover gives you access to the two micro SIM card slots and the micro SD card slot. Unlike many other mid-range Android devices out there, you can use two SIM cards and a micro SD card at the same time on the K4 Note. With everything out of the way, let's now boot the handset and quickly set it up. As for my impressions regarding the build quality of the Vibe K4 Note, I must say that it is pretty impressive for a mid-range smartphone. The metallic chassis gives the phone a very premium look but since the back is made of plastic, you don't get that premium of a feel when you hold the phone in your hand. Nonetheless, for a phone that is priced at Rs 12,000, the build quality of the Vibe K4 Note is definitely a game changer. So this is the stock home screen of the Lenovo Vibe K4 Note. The home screen is pretty similar to what is found on other Lenovo devices. So anyways, the first thing, let's head over to the settings menu and see how much free storage space the handset has out of the box. By default, the Vibe K4 Note comes with 16 GB of storage space and as you can see, out of that, it has around 9.05 GB of free space. The OS has occupied 5.37 GB with apps and other app related data taking up 1.39 GB of space. Let's also quickly have a look at how much free RAM the handset has. The K4 Note comes with 3 GB of LPDDR3 RAM and as you can see it has around 2 GB of free RAM available with around 615 MB being used by the OS and another 160 MB being taken up by various pre-installed apps and services. In terms of software, the Vibe K4 Note runs on Android 5.1 Lollipop out of the box. Now let's have a quick look at the camera application of the handset. Lenovo's stock camera application is known as Snap It if you were not aware of it for some reason. So let me just quickly take a picture here. At first glance, the camera app seems pretty fast with there being no noticeable shutter lag between shots. 
The UI is also simple to use and I really like how the viewfinder makes use of the whole screen. By default, the K4 Note shoots pictures at 16 to 9 aspect ratio at its full resolution which is 13 megapixel here. In terms of advanced camera settings, you get the option to play around with the white balance and change the ISO level and that's about it. There's no option to control the shutter speed or change the exposure levels. This is our quick unboxing and first impressions of the Lenovo Vibe K4 Note. Thanks for watching it. Do hit the like button below if you liked it and subscribe to our channel if you have not already done so.